right, so today we got this beautiful 2019 Key West 203 FS on a West Coast trailer. As with all the Key West, you got a nice steep entry in the front. Some pretty strong lifting strikes there. Nice bow flare up top to keep the water off of you. And then uh, that reverse chine gives it a nice ride dry ride, throws the water out, keeps it away from you. What it doesn't get, the bow flare should take care of for you. I can't remember if this is a manta gray or a slate gray. I think it's slate. Pretty color. Come to the back of the boat. We got a, pretty sure it's a GT22 transducer. Yamaha F150 engine. Hydraulic steering. All that good stuff. Uh, integrated boarding ladder. And then over on the port side, same as the other side. Everybody always asks, what is this thing here? And it's a vent for the fuel tank. So your fuel fills there. EPA's mandated diurnal fuel systems as of like 2012 or something. So it has to vent through charcoal and that's what that's doing. Uh, so now we'll hop up on the boat, show you a little bit more of the inside, and uh, yeah. Inside the boat, one of my favorite features of these Key West FS series is the full length bench seating in the back. Great for cruising, entertaining, that kind of stuff. You still get a decent amount of space in the cockpit back here. Uh, plenty of room for a big cooler to be tucked up underneath the leaning post. Rocket launchers back here. Uh, this is the deluxe leaning post, so it has the flip down bolsters to use it as seating and then push it back for the leaning post. Uh, did not option this one with the armrests, but I believe you can get uh, additional armrests to come down. Uh, all the cushions are snap in, so if you're going to go fishing, you know you're not going to use them, you can leave them off, uh, which probably limits the fishability just a little bit having this, you know, bench seat back here. but. Uh, the gunnel height isn't huge, so you can still kind of get out over the side of the boat if you need to. Um, but again, depending on how you're using the boat most, uh, that might prove beneficial or detrimental one way or the other. Everything's a compromise. It's boating. And then live well back here. I don't know where the inlet is. Tucked up underneath there somewhere, and then more storage on that side. All your seacocks and everything are accessible through here. Uh, when you trim the engine up, the backrest does come down, uh, so you can trim the engine completely up out of the water, hopefully, if you're storing it in the water. As you can see there. Uh, moving up to the hardtop, we do have the rigid LED spreader lights, uh, life jacket bag, e-box. Uh, some courtesy lighting up here, two color, which is nice. All your switches down here, backlit, and turn on the nav light, anchor light, bilge pump, live well, fresh water, courtesy lighting around the boat. It's not dark enough to see, but there's some blue lighting up underneath the gunnels. Let's see if we can get that on camera. And then down on the console. Is there some up in? Maybe it's just on the console in this model. Yep, none under the gunnels, just on the console. And then I don't know if these accessories are tied to anything or if they're open currently. Uh, Yamaha Command Link round gauges. And then the 9 inch Garmin full touchscreen sonar. Console organizer with footrest. Nice wide gunnel walking through here. Uh, there's a little bit of toe stubbing room on the T-top the post there, so just be careful of that. But other than that, plenty of space to walk through. On this side is your freshwater bib, and then the raw water wash down on this model actually works off of the live well. So uh, you would plug your hose in in the live well fill and then turn your live well switch on and they use that as the raw water wash down. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we have a front spreader light over here. Bright white LEDs, switches up here, aft, forward. 
little compass, head door, sorry, dirty in there. Two batteries tucked behind here. One crank in one house. Storage for your backrests or anything like that. Access to your freshwater tank down there. And then a little cooler seat with your freshwater fill, which I need to fill that and test it. And then moving up into the bow area. Nice backrests. Cup holders there. Cup holders there. And again, these are just snapping cushions with access to your insulated boxes. So there should be plenty of room to store some fish, store some stuff, some speakers up front, and then our anchor locker here. Plenty of room for road, chain, whatever you want to use. Handrail, so I should walk around the boat for safety. Full combing pads all the way around. So again, pretty fishable package. Definitely cruises well. Oh, these are the other options I was talking about. So you have your dock line, and then you got your fender cleats. So you're not taking up good dock line space just for fender cleats. So cool stuff. Nice boat. Cruises, fishes, does a little bit of everything. Oh yeah. Uh, outrigger, pads already. It's a nice T-top. Canvas, bright dipped aluminum. It's a great boat. If you got any other questions, contact Brad or Bart at Yamaha Marine Center. 904-644-7631. Or you can find us at yamahamarinejax.com.